Good afternoon, class. Today we are going to be learning about the Great Depression and the New Deal. This video is just a brief introduction to the effect that each had in the 1930s. The Great Depression was one of the worst economic crises in American history and began in 1929 when the stock market crashed. Nearly overnight, the nation was thrown into a panic. Banks closed, people lost their homes, and the economy tanked. Everything went downhill, and during this time, there were no jobs and even less money in America. In fact, so many people lost their homes that they set up little shanty towns called Hoovervilles. Watch this lady's experience in her youth with the Hoovervilles. Take me past Hooverville, which were the shanties down along the waterfront. I don't remember exactly, but I remember they were just cardboard and t uh, corrugated tin roofs and. And it was just Take a close look at this picture. What emotions do you feel? What do you think this woman is going through? This face has come to represent the Great Depression because it speaks of lost hope and faith and poverty, but also a strength and determination to carry through the hard times. At the same time as the Great Depression, the Midwest was experiencing the Dust Bowl. There was no rain to hold the dirt down or help the crops grow, so giant dust storms such as this one were formed. Landowners were looking for a better way to make money, so they forced many farmers off their lands. After farmers were forced off their land, many of them, with families of nine or ten, would pile into the back of the car, and that would be their home as they looked for better opportunities. In the midst of these hard times, this man, united the nation. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was elected in 1932 and his speeches and ideas gave hope to the people of the nation. Listen to this part of his first inaugural address so that you can better understand how his speeches uplifted and inspired the people of the nation. I firm believe that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror, which paralyzes needed efforts to convert retreat into advance. He created organizations such as this one, the Civilian Conservation Corps, that allowed people to work and make money and break out of the poverty that had held them bound for the previous few years. The New Deal is very controversial. As we go out throughout this unit, I want you to think about whether the New Deal was detrimental or beneficial to the United States. Most people will argue loudly and quickly without up much information, but by the end of this unit, you will be able to form an educated opinion on why the New Deal was either beneficial or detrimental. Hopefully you will have much more to say about it than these two. Hi class, I'm really excited to start learning about the Great Depression and the New Deal with you. It's a fascinating time of history, one of my favorite things to learn about. As we go throughout this unit, keep in mind the question I asked earlier. Was the New, De New Deal helpful or hurtful to the United States? At the end of this unit, you'll be required to write an essay that explains to me what you think and why. So be sure to pay attention to that throughout the unit.